Hey, what's up, guys? This is Lord Flame, bringing you another good gameplay today. This is not by me. This is by a friend of mine. His name is It's Wiz. He um, he actually went 130 and 0 on Ground War domination, as you can see here. Uh, I don't know what the theater mode did to this beginning, or if it was the. I'm guessing it was the connection at the beginning of his game, but um. It's the this is the highest um, KD and uh, the highest um, flawless gameplay on YouTube. Um, this uh, it's with he does not have a uh, capture card. Um, uh, he didn't have a YouTube channel that I knew of. Um, I think he just had one like like everybody makes one just to have one and like subscribe to certain people. But um, uh, he said he's just because um, a friend of mine put this up on his channel. Um, I think he's going to be buying a PVR. I don't know if he already ordered one or what, but he's going to be getting a PVR soon. So uh, if you guys could um, check out his uh, channel in the annotation right now on the left. Um, click on it. You'll go to his channel. Go subscribe because he's going to be bringing you guys some good gameplay soon because um, from my understanding, he's going to be getting a PVR soon. Um He's uh play plays on PlayStation as well as I do. He's a friend of mine. I play with him a few times. Um he's me and him and uh, another guy are always like fighting for the top um top score. There's a multi kill lucky. Um oh, I gotta tell you guys this before I forget. Um he actually destroys two of his pavelos um in this, so he could have easily had a hundred and four 40, 150, 160 kills if he hadn't destroyed his two pavlos. Um, and because he got a flawless gameplay, obviously he's going to get a Moab sooner or later, so he does, I think, around um, 60 like score on the um, uh, flag score thing. So yeah, he gets he gets the um, Moab soon. He doesn't actually call it in for a while, and not until the very end, I'm guessing. Uh, I mean, I know. What am I saying? I'm guessing. Um, he's using the uh, AK-47 silenced and extended mags. He's also using the uh, MP7. I mean, no, the MP9. MP9 uh, extended mags. Um, I always use silencer on there for some reason. I just like the way it feels. Um, but he's using Scavenger Pro, Assassin Pro, and Marksman. I don't know if Marksman's Pro, but that doesn't really make that much of a difference. Um, but he stays out in this direction. This is not camping. Um, the team is spawn trapped at either A, or you'll see the team will go up and they'll grab A, and then they'll switch to C. But these guys never get B. I don't know why they never even try. I don't think. Um, but Assassin really keeps you away from the UAV and really keeps them from finding you and that's really is key to even getting a flawless gameplay in the first place or if you're using specialist or something but um uh... his pavlo just rips into people these kids must have not even known what a stinger missile was because they don't even it, i don't think anything gets shot down except for what he shoots down um, he's playing all completely by himself. Nobody in a party. Nobody's helping him spawn trap. He just happened to get in a random lobby. And the kids on his team are just as stupid as the kids on the other team. Um, I think the highest kills under him was like 39. And I think the guy went like 39 and 20. You'll see at the end score. Um, but he gets his mob in a few seconds. Yeah, there it is. Um, that's where I got mine whenever I use my P90. But uh, that's all I want to talk about is gameplay. You guys can just watch in the background because I don't want to ruin everything by uh, going ahead of myself. But right now, if you guys uh, heard anything about Black Ops 2, Black Ops, whatever you want to call it, the next Treyarch game, whatever, um, you had seen uh, FPS Rush's video about his quad rotor thingy and about him saying it could be a uh, kill streak on the next Call of Duty game. And you'll see he's wearing a shirt called Tacitus. And uh, I don't know if I was the first one to check. Um, I'm not going to say I was the first one to check because I'm going to get a lot of hate from it. But like when I'd seen the video and he had said a bunch of this stuff, I was thinking that he always wears shirts that mean something, like if it has to do with him. But I've never seen, I've never even heard of Tacitus, so, or Tac, uh, whatever, however you say it, it doesn't really matter to me. But uh, I had looked it up on Google 
and uh, all I found was Wikipedia stuff, and I was reading it. it. had to do with Greek gods or something, something to do with Greek anything. I just didn't know what I was reading, um, so I just saw that, and I got off. And then Woody's Gamertag, he put up a video explaining what Tacitus was, and I'm on the Tacitus.com. Uh, if you guys care, I'll put it in the description. Um, but... um. It says, once there was a company named Tacitus. It lives no more, but rising from its ashes is something new. A league of heroic and occasionally eccentric minds from a host of different fields from different countries. In different industries, institutions, companies, and universities. Experts in biological research, gen genomics, astrophysics, global markets, risk ana analytics, immersive data visualization, and skateboarding. In 2012 to 2013, we're gonna we're building a global collaborative project focused on prototyping groundbreaking tools for deriving insight from the most complex data sets on Earth. Discovery comes from play. Stay tuned. Black Ops 2 weapons manufacturer in the game, not us. Says Black Ops 2 right on the right on the website. So what I'm thinking, and. Uh, well, I was thinking the same thing as Woody as he was talking, but like as soon as he said Portal 2, or Portal in general, I was thinking of the, uh, I forgot what it's called, I'd have to watch the video again, but if you go watch it, I'll put that in the description too. Uh, it has to do with like, like, the, whatever the guy, Mason, like, I think it's gonna be some like doctor thingy, like, uh, I can't remember, I haven't seen Woody's video since yesterday. Uh, I think it's going to be some like studying thingy that has aperture science. That's what it is. That's what it was. I just remembered. Um, but it's the aperture. I think it has to do with Mason and how he was in his chair last time. It's going to be. I'm thinking this is going to be like maybe 10 years after Black Ops was. Um, I'm guessing that. But uh, I can't talk too much, guys. The gameplay is almost over. Hope you guys had a good time. There goes his Moab. Um, Hope you guys come down, check me out. Uh, I put up good gameplays. Um, so, yeah, come check it out. I'll be in the description. Thanks to uh, um, It's Wiz for letting me put this up on his channel. He actually gave me the permission to do this. Watch, this is the luckiest thing in the ever world. Did you see that guy back there? If you didn't rewind it back, you'll see the guy on the right. And um, he gets up into that other guy and he ended up getting a double kill. That guy next to him was completely stupid. I don't know how he didn't kill him. But um, that's the end, guys. Here's the final kill cam by an idiot. Like, who? Look at that guy. You can tell he's a noob. Um, so, yeah, you'll see a score in a few seconds. I hope you guys have a uh, great rest of the day. Thanks for watching.